Hello Loyal Line Club members, my name is Drew. I'm up here on the Bliss House deck and I get to share with you the three new wines we're going to be releasing um, this February. We have a beautiful Chardonnay, the uh, La Serenite 2019, as well as two Pinot Noirs. They're also from the 2019 vintage. We have a single vineyard, Adams Vineyard, as well as the Anisha's Blend, one of our pinnacle wines. So let's talk about these wonderful wines. Um, La Serenite is probably the best Chardonnay we make, according to several of you and probably to a lot of the folks that work down here in the tasting room. It's just a bright, lovely, Chablis-like wine, great fruit aromatics, nice light on the palate with just enough texture. This is the Linmar Chardonnay you want to show off to your friends. This is a hands-down beautiful Chardonnay with fish, particularly white fish. Uh, loving this vintage, we kind of used a little bit more concrete egg on this wine. We're starting to introduce that into this wine. We first used some in 2018, this being the 19th vintage. About 25, 27% of it is actually being fermented and cellared in concrete, the rest being done in neutral oak, which has always been the way for La Serenite. Uh, Pete feels it's adding a little bit more minerality, but also kind of adding another dimension to the wine that's totally in line with its elegance, its purity, and just fantastic Chardonnay. never go wrong with La Serenite. As Lynn says, it's the quintessential California Chardonnay, gently kissed by the California sun. Uh, I do need to talk about these two wonderful Pinot Noirs. As I said, we have the single vineyard that's coming from the Adams Vineyard. Now this is going to be the uh, fourth time we've made this wine. This wine is really starting to turn the corner. The vineyard's maturing. This wine is really showcasing that we've learned how to farm the site better. We've learned how to pick it better. We've learned how to manipulate it in the winery to make it much more fantastic wine than it's ever been. So keep your eye on the Adams. It's a wine that's only gonna be getting better, A, with time, but also as Lynn and our team gets to work with this site more, Pete and his team gets to work with making wine from this vineyard. My big takeaway is aromatically, it's so full of red fruit, uh, kind of like this nice raspberry, kind of a little black cherry. It's a little bigger. Being our warmer vineyard, it's definitely got some nice weight to the palate. I wouldn't call it jammy or too juicy, but it's definitely for a Pinot Noir drinker that likes something with a little more ripe fruit on it. This is our warmest vineyard. It's beautiful. This is really coming into its own. I, I do have to say I have to finish with probably one of the best wines that we're going to be releasing this quarter. This is the Anisha's Blend. Uh, this wine does only go to people that get six bottles or 12 bottles per quarter. Uh, but in a sense, it is trying to make a greatest hits from the Susanna's Vineyard. What I mean by that is we grow three different types of Pinot Noir on this property. Uh, they're all farmed block by block, picked block by block. And what Pete and Anisha go through and do is actually taste the barrels one by one. And what they consider to be the best representations of that and to make the best wine, they're going to set those aside and we're actually going to bottle this separately from the Susanna's Vineyard. And this is called the Anisha's Blend. Aromatically, it's seductive, it's enticing, it's just so filled with love but it's got this depth to it and still has some nice firm notes it's very linear but at the same time has some complexity in the finish i don't know how to thank you guys enough uh, keep the support we'll keep making wonderful wines like these so thank you very much